If you filed your taxes, you may have noticed your refund is a little bit smaller this year. And here to talk with us about why that is and what that means is Chris Harper, an instructor at Grand Valley State University and senior manager with Hungers Ford Nichols. Uh, yeah, so does this affect everyone? Everybody, well, most people have to file an income tax return. Right. And plenty of people, they get to this time of year and they're looking for that tax refund. It's almost a forced savings plan for some people. Mm -hmm. And what we're seeing is, you see, the IRS will publish statistics every week as the filing season drags on. What was the average refund? They publish lots of statistics. But um, what I looked at was, see, the filing season began on January 28th. And then on February 1, the IRS said the average refund was about $170 lower this year than the previous year. And then they updated that statistic on February 8th, so a week later, and now it's down about $186. So on average, people are seeing smaller refunds, at least thus far in the tax season. Okay. And what's the average that they're seeing? It's down how much? Well, it's down about 8.7% okay. as of the most recent statistics. So. Uh, for 2018, the average refund was a little over $2,100, and so far in 2019, it's uh, a little over $1,900. Okay. Now, but that's just one part of the picture. Right. Really. I mean, we've talked a lot on this station about the Tax Cuts and Job Act, the huge uh, tax reform. And earlier in 2018, I know that I was on the air talking about hey, your paycheck might have gotten bigger. It got a little bigger, right. Right. That's because the IRS updated the withholding tax tables. And so employers started to take less money out of your paycheck uh, to reflect the changes in the tax law. So just looking at your refund is just one little part of the picture. All right. So if you want to make changes for next year, though, what should you be looking at? Well, what you should be doing is always thinking about your tax position. Okay, it's, it's not something to think about just in February, March, or April, is maybe do a tax projection, but um, file a revised W-4 with your employer if you think that is necessary. You might need to update your quarterly estimated tax payments as well. Um, but really, the, the biggest advice right now is get your tax return prepared sooner than later. Oh, right why, now. and why is that? Well, just so that you know. Okay, and I'm not actually going to say file it sooner than later because there are a lot of things that could impact that decision. But at least if you prepare it or have somebody prepare it now versus waiting until the end of March or early April, if there is a surprise, at least you'll know about that surprise now rather than two months from now. Right, okay. So is this really something that people should be super worried about? I think that anytime you're relying, <laughs> if you have a habit of relying on your tax refund, then probably. I do think it's important to look at a more holistic picture. Mm -hmm. Just looking at your refund is only part of the picture. Your tax return is really just kind of a settling up process with the IRS where you tell the IRS, here's how much my tax is, here's how much I paid in, do I have a refund, do I owe money? What you really should be looking at did your total tax bill decrease 2018 versus 2017? That's what I would personally really care about. Okay. Am I paying a lower amount in federal income tax? And that's, but that unfortunately is getting kind of glossed over because people are seeing a smaller check, right? People see the smaller check and there's always this recency effect. Mm -hmm. the, the refund is what you're seeing right now. If you did see a, a reduced income tax bill for yourself, it probably got spread out over a number, you know, 26 mm -hmm. pay periods or whatever, and and it kind of just blended into your weekly, daily finances. Right. right. So when it comes to, to, if you need to do a correction on your W-2, how should, what should you, should you be feeling, filling out? You know, they always say do zero or do one or whatever. If you want more money taken out, is that still a rule of thumb? Well, the rule of thumb is this. On your W-4, if you want your employer to take out more tax, um, fewer exemptions is better. Now, in fact, uh, exemptions don't even really play a role anymore because they were kind of taken out with the new tax law. But um, claiming fewer people is, is typically better. Um, my best advice is the IRS has a really good tax projector. Um, and so you can, you can actually go into an irs.gov and you can put in your numbers and it'll let you know if you're having the right amount withheld. Okay. Yeah. That's probably maybe the best way to go. That in combination with looking at your 2018 tax return once it's 
prepared sooner than later. All right, well, thank you so much, of course. Remember, these are just general tips of advice. If you have questions about your specific situation, please contact a financial advisor. You can find all these tips on our website, 13onyourside.com.